Okay, the doctor said this is going to make you feel a whole lot better. <laughs> what is it? Well, you got your chai hu, you got your shang jing, and you got a little tree fungus. Or maybe it's a bug, I don't know. I'm sorry, my doctor said this? No, mine said this. Oh, 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 okay, trying to swim, trying to swim. Ah. <laughs> You live there now. Darma, I don't want something from a cauldron. I want something from a store. Honey, I know what I'm doing. Now you put this crystal around your neck. You go lie down. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah, this'll do it. <laughs> okay, got the golden seal, the echinacea, and the garlic paste. Did you get the leeches? You're kidding. Maybe. Now put the crystal back on. Hey, snot boy, you feeling any better? No. One, two. What are you talking about? On my way back from the health food store, I made a quick stop on Earth and picked up something you might be interested in. What'd you get? What'd you get? Nighttime sniffling, sneezing, aching fever so you don't wake up for three days medicine. Gimme. Not so fast, 50 bucks. 50 bucks? It only cost you like eight dollars. Eight for the green stuff, 42 not to tell Dharma. Not to tell Dharma what? Nothing. I'll write you a check. <laughs> drugs you're addicted to that I should know about? No. That, don't buy any more of the stuff from James. It doesn't do anything. It just makes you feel better. <laughs> That's what I want! <laughs> Hi, does Dharma Finkelstein still live here? Baby, got any dose spray? <laughs> that stuff won't do anything for you. It'll just make you feel better. <laughs> Dharma, there's a friend of yours here. Night. <gasps> hey, stinky nunzio. Leonard, Leonard, I want you to meet my husband, Greg. You got married? Yeah, I know. Wow. Oh, congratulations. Oh, hey, man. You got yourself the most wonderful woman uh, in the world. Oh. oh. Uh, thanks, I know. How do you know? <laughs> oh, right. Sorry, this is Leonard. We used to be lovers. <laughs> oh, how nice. I mean, not nice, but I guess I already said dice, so we'll go with dice. <laughs> Don't worry, man, it's ancient history. Uh, I'm not worried. It, it, since you bring it up, I, uh, I studied ancient history at Harvard before I went to <laughs> Stanford and then came, became a U.S. attorney. Honey, why are you standing on your tippy toes? <laughs> hey, would you mind if I tried something on you I learned in India? What? Just relax. Oh yeah, here's the problem. Wow, hang on a second. You're in a lot of stress, aren't you? And it's increasing. Okay, now take a deep breath. I can't! <laughs> Try anyway. <sighs> hey, where'd this not go? <laughs> It's only temporary. You have to follow that up with some tea of chai hu. Maybe a little shang Shang, Got that covered. Dharma, you look great. Oh, God, so do you. Yeah. This is my uh, sick bathrobe. <laughs> hey, do you want something to drink? Got any beet juice? Just made some this morning. God. <laughs> some cosmic way. I must have knew you were coming. Uh, they could have warned me. <laughs> so how was India? I can't even describe... It just changed my entire perspective. I got to the point where I could fast for an entire month. A whole month with no food and no sex? How'd you know he didn't have sex? He took a vow of celibacy, honey. Celibacy? Wow, oh, that's great. I mean, <laughs> not great for you, but great for... We'll just go with great. <laughs> so how long have you been celibate? Well, since the last time we... I was your last? Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
must have been at least a year ago. <laughs> we did it last night. <laughs> Or for evil. <laughs> yeah, I'm back for good. I'm gonna teach some of the meditation techniques I've Ah, uh, make oh. a couple of bucks, huh? No, no, all the money goes to free Tibet. Oh, I know what you mean about giving something back. I'm a big brother myself. <laughs> really? Since when? I'm on the waiting list, okay? <laughs> so where are you staying? Oh, I'm just gonna stay in a hostel until I find a place. No, oh, don't do that. Don't waste all that money. Stay here. We'll fix up the couch, right, Greg? Sure. Yeah. Unless you want me to hammer you a bed of nails. <laughs> Very funny. Really? Wasn't supposed to be. <laughs> Greg, I know this must be really uncomfortable for you, but I really want to thank you for making Leonard feel so welcome. Hey, we're all grown-ups, no problem. You know, I think I'm feeling better. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I don't think you're up for this. I am ready for love. <laughs> love? What's love? Love, love, hot monkey love. That's not your <laughs> Honey, <coughs> tell the truth. Do you want to have sex just because Leonard's downstairs? I want to have sex because I love you. I want it to be loud because Leonard's downstairs. <laughs> Actually, you know what I was thinking? I was thinking about us trying celibacy for a while. What? Well, I mean, we have sex every day. <laughs> Why didn't you mention that downstairs? I, mean, I think our sex life is wonderful, but think of, think of all that energy that we could be putting into other areas of our relationship. What other areas? Oops, that's the wrong question, isn't it? I'm just talking about a few weeks. We could explore each other on a much more intimate spiritual level. Did you mean like talking? Oops, did it again. <laughs> Fine, we'll just keep having sex. How did that become a bad thing? Nothing, I just thought we'd try something new, but maybe it's just more of a Leonard thing. No, anything that Leonard could not do, I could not do. <laughs> Thank you, I love you. Good night. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, God. <laughs> okay, okay, so let me get this straight. She's convinced you to be celibate. Yeah. While she's at home with the old boyfriend. Right. Who hasn't had sex in a year. What's your point, Pete? <laughs> my point? My point is, you know, I lost two grand on the Super Bowl, my cat has the runs, yet my life is better than yours. <laughs> They broke up when he left for India. They even had a parting ceremony. A parting ceremony? What the hell's a parting ceremony? A ceremony, a spiritual ceremony where two souls going on different paths rejoice and then part. So basically they were boffing the whole way to the Greyhound station, huh? Don't screw with me, buddy. I'm living on stinky tea and I'm celibate. Mr. Montgomery, your wife's on line one. Marlene, do something here. Will that be all? Yeah. Thanks, Marlene. Hi, honey. Are you busy? Uh, no, I'm just in a little meeting with Pete. He's insane. Sleep with him. <laughs> what did he say? He wants you to sleep with me. Oh, that's so sweet. Listen. Uh, Leonard and I are over at your folks, and my folks are here, and Jane, and we're hoping that when you're done, you can come join us. Leonard is at my parents' house? Oh, 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 hang on one sec. Your mom wants to talk to you. Hang on. <laughs> Gregory, darling, oh, you must come over. Leonard is telling the most delicious stories about his travels through the Orient. Mother, do you realize who Leonard is? Yes, 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 yes. It's Dharma's old boyfriend, but they had a parting ceremony. It's over. He's charming. Now hurry. I could have a mysterious burning sensation, and my life would still be better than yours. You're coming with me. So I'm in Nepal, and I'm driving this monk back to his monastery. I have no idea where it is. And he's taken a vow of silence. <laughs> So, what did you do? He wound up staying with me for six months. <laughs> and talked in his sleep every day. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Hi, everybody. Hey, hey, Greg. Hello, Greg. 
Greg, we go out, Leonard, go out. <laughs> Dharma, what's everybody doing here? Well, Leonard was hanging out with my folks. Well, your folks <laughs> like Leonard. Oh, they love him. <laughs> oh, they love him. That's nice. <laughs> anyway, we were all talking about how hard it is for my folks to get along with your folks. So Leonard suggested we get them all together. Next thing you know, Larry and Edward are playing hacky sack in the driveway, and your mom insists we stay for dinner and Pictionary. Wait, they get together all the time. There's never hacky sack. There's never Pictionary. <laughs> Weirdest thing. That kind of stuff always happens when Leonard's around. Just something about him. Who is this man from Nazareth? <laughs> so this guru could raise his body temperature at will? Yeah, and every time he did it, he'd say, is it hot in here or is it just me? <laughs> uh, mother? Yes. Um, what? Where did he get those pants? Oh, 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 Leonard gave all of his clothes away when he was in India to the poor, and so I was just inspired and I gave him all your old clothes. What? Without even asking me? Gregory, you're so materialistic. So it's settled? We'll all go camping in Sedona next weekend. Uh oh, Larry, I think Greg's working. Oh, you wanted Greg to come? <laughs> Don't you think it's a little inappropriate having her ex-boyfriend here? <laughs> Do you realize he knows Richard Gere? Greg, oh. is this difficult for you? Oh, oh you mean Leonard? Oh, no, I'm, I'm fine about that. <laughs> oh, good, good, because I wanted to invite him to stay with us after he's done staying with your parents. My parents invited him to stay? Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> that tends to happen around Leonard. There's just something, something about, about him. him. <laughs> Gregory, did you know that Leonard broke the scoring record at Notre Dame? You remember Notre Dame, my old alma mater, the school that wasn't good enough for you. So I uh, hear you're keeping the cobra in the basket, huh? <laughs> the celibacy. Yeah. yeah, I guess you could say that. Is that like a requirement with your religion? No, it's just a choice. A lot of us actually believe you can find enlightenment through sex. In fact, there's a sacred body of teaching called tantric sex, which turns lovemaking into a religious experience. Talk to me. <laughs> well, it has to do with focusing energy, being in tune with the body, and... Here, let me show you. Jane, can I borrow you a second? Sure. The body's dotted with pleasure points, like right here on the inside of the elbow. Just touch it with a little bit of pressure and... can cause waves and waves of ecstasy. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. I'm sitting next to you at dinner. Teach me, master. Ah, oh, God, it was such a great night, wasn't it? I had no idea Leonard was an origami expert. You didn't let him touch your elbow, did you? No, I... Never mind, let's just go to sleep. Greg? What? I don't want to be celibate anymore. He did touch your elbow, didn't he? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Yeah. I'll tell you what's wrong with me. I hate Leonard! Whoa, what? I hate his inner peace. I hate his celibacy. I hate his rushing record. I hate the way he looks in my pants! <laughs> He looked in your pants? No, no, he's wearing my old pants and I don't want him in our life anymore. I know it's selfish, I know it's unenlightened, but I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Okay. Okay? That's, that's it? Okay? He's a friend, you are my husband. And if it's bothering you, we won't have him around anymore. Wow. Thanks. Mm, you're welcome. I'll just tell him in the morning. No, no, no. I'm, I'm the one with the problem. I'll tell him. Okay.
What you doing? Apparently nothing. <laughs> well, it sounds like everything you're angry about is in the past. Yeah, so? So the past doesn't exist anymore. And there's no point in being anxious about the future because that doesn't exist either. You're right. What are you feeling right now? And serene and love. I feel all this love for you. I feel love for you too, Marlene. Marlene? Not now, damn it! <laughs> hey, Greg. He, uh, Leonard, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? <laughs> I was wondering if you guys want to see the Bulls play the Warriors tonight. You've got seats for that game? No, not really. Phil Jackson asked me to do a meditation workshop with the Bulls, so we'll have to sit on the bench. The bench? The bench with the Chicago Bulls on it? Uh-huh. The Michael Jordan Chicago Bulls? Yeah, I guess. So what do you say? Love to. <laughs> Come on, Leonard. Let's go get my coat. So how sleazy do you feel right now? <laughs> ask me at halftime. What do you mean, we can't see Leonard anymore? It's just, it's really awkward for Greg. Well, can't we see him on our own? Abby, come on. What if Greg and I just showed up one day and Leonard was there? Well, maybe you should start calling before you come over. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, where's Leonard? <laughs> He's not staying here anymore. I thought he's staying with you. Oh, yes, but he didn't come home to dinner, so I, I thought he might be over here. Actually, I made him a little something. <laughs> you cooked? Well, I know he's a vegetarian, so I just whipped up a lettuce, tomato, and avocado sandwich. It took her an hour and a half. <laughs> We're not allowed to see Leonard anymore. What? Why not? Apparently, your son is uncomfortable with having him around. Hi. I thought I heard someone come up the elevator. I told you, Janie, he's not coming back. Oh. Well, I'll wait anyway. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll wait. Too. Too. Let's wait. <clears throat> Fine, but I think you're wasting your time. Plus, you know what? I really think you should respect Greg's decision on this. I mean, it's got to be really difficult for him to hang out with my ex-boyfriend. I see that. Well, all right. If I can't play catch with Lenny, uh, there's no point in sticking around. Hey, why don't you stick around for Greg and tell him how much you need him when he comes home? <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure he'll be home any minute. Not a bad basketball game. Well, look, there's the Leonard. Well, right uh, next to Greg. <laughs> Them both sitting next to Leonard. Okay. So uh, we'll just turn out all the lights. And then when he comes home, we'll yell, surprise! And then we'll just beat the crap out of him. <laughs> oh. Hey, company. Hey, everybody. What's going on? How much? Where have you been? Uh, went to see a basketball game with Pete. Anyone else? Uh, yeah, Marlene. Aha! Uh -huh. Not yet, Finkelstein. <laughs> so what's this all about? Why is everybody here? Adama has informed us that Leonard is persona non grata. What is this you're trying to pull, Gregory? <laughs> I know what he's trying to pull. He's just bogarting Leonard. <laughs> Bogarder. <laughs> Leonard made me feel like a woman. <laughs> we saw you at the game, Greg. What? W what are you talking about? You were on TV. Just me? No. You and Leonard. Me and Leonard? They show the bench a lot, Greg. 
You should have thought about that before you cheated on us. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. It was the Chicago Bulls! Michael Jordan high-fived me! Actually, I, I missed his hand and he hit me in the head, but, but still... <laughs> Let's go, Edward. Let's take Leonard his dinner. We'll go with you. I knitted him an afghan. It's in the van. Wait for me. I just have to throw in a short sleeve shirt. <laughs> How angry are you? Well, I'm angry that you lied. But I'm really angry that you thought that I wouldn't understand about you changing your mind about Leonard. Greg, change is a good thing. It, it shows that you're, you're not bound to your former self. It shows that you're capable of growth, which is why I love you so much, which is why I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Wow. <laughs> Okay, that's incredible, because the way I see it, I was too shallow and insecure to let this guy be a part of our lives, and then when he had something I wanted, I snuck around behind your back, and when you caught me, I lied like a little weasel. <laughs> when you put it that way, you really do suck. <laughs> Darn away! Okay, makeup sex. <laughs> I thought we were celibate. When are you gonna learn to shut up? <laughs>